Hi, my name is Paul Fiddler, a field sales engineer here at Meraki. Today we're going to walk through the steps needed to add a device retrospectively to Apple's device enrollment program. So why would you want to do this? Well, you might already have the devices. You might be migrating from one MDM to another. You might want to use some of the extended functionality that you get with a supervised device. Or you might just want to use the enhanced user experience that you get, such as the lack of application installation prompts. So what do you need to achieve this? Well, you'll need a Mac. You'll need the latest version of Apple Configurator installed, a USB cable, the device or devices you wish to prepare, your Apple School or Apple Business Manager credentials, and any profiles that you wish to install, such as Wi-Fi. So, let's start. Plug your iPhone into your Mac and let it boot up to the home screen. It should be showing hello in multiple languages. It should also appear after a few moments in Apple Configurator. Once your device appears, click Prepare. The following screen should appear. If manual configuration is not selected, please select it. Tick Add to Device Enrollment Program, but untick Activate and Complete Enrollment. As you're adding a device retrospectively to DEP, ticking Activate and Complete Enrollment will result in a failure. Supervised device should automatically be selected, and you may wish to consider whether or not to allow devices to pair with other computers. This is a really good security step to ensure that people can't have access via USB. If you're going to be using an iPad in a classroom, you may wish to consider enable shared iPad as well. So we're now going to add a new server. Click new server and give your server a name. We're now going to go over to the Meraki dashboard. Hit Systems Manager and Add Devices. Click iOS and scroll down to the bottom to get the Apple Configurator 2.0 link. Copy this and go back. Paste this in and click Next. If prompted to select a certificate, select star.meraki.com and click Next. Select your organization if prompted and hit Next. We'll now be able to bypass this screen as we'll be able to do this in Systems Manager later. Click Next. And lastly, this is where you'll be able to upload any Wi-Fi credentials to the device before handing it out to an end user. Click Prepare when you're done. And the last step with Apple Configurator will be to log in using your ASM or BSM credentials. Type in your password, hit Next, and when prompted uh, with your two-factor passcode, uh, type this in as well and hit Continue. The device should now go off and start preparing. This might actually take some considerable time and you might actually see your device reboot a couple of times as well. If all's gone well, we'll now be able to go over to ASM or BSM. Click Assignment History and you should be able to see that the device that you've just added. So we're going to go to Device Assignments. We're going to hit the serial number, Assign to Server, and choose an MDM server that you've previously added and hit next. If all's gone well, you should get the device assigned. You can actually check this in the assignment history and there it is. So now that you've done the hard work, we're going to go back to Systems Manager. Click Systems Manager and DEP and you should see the device appear shortly in the screen. Tick the device and hit Assign Settings. We're going to create a new setting. We're going to give this a name. Might be useful if you have multiple settings for devices. And we're going to spend some time filling in the support phone number and email addresses because this information is actually stored on the device as well. So it might be really helpful for users should they get into any problems. We're not going to have a removable profile. But what we can do next is skip some of the screens that users may see when setting their devices up. You can select multiple ones and you can include both iOS and Mac ones in here. Scroll down. You may wish to tick Await Configuration. This ensures that the device is set up before the user can use it. Click Assign when done. You should now see 
that the settings are applied to the device if you refresh the screen. And your device is now ready to be handed out to the end user to be set up.